Thank you very much for joining us at our second annual Northeast Indiana National Defense Forum. It is the honor of my life to serve Northeast Indiana in the United States Congress. Last year we put together this event and it was a home run. And we wondered uh, afterward how would we ever top it. And I guarantee you today that we are going to do just that. So thank you for coming back to be a part of a very important day. The vision uh, that I had was to bring the national defense industry, especially the, the, the valuable, uh, significant footprint that we have here in Northeast Indiana, together with key policymakers in Washington, D.C., and then also introduce these significant innovators from Silicon Valley and elsewhere to Northeast Indiana. And that, that's what the forum today is about. Northeast Indiana is the Manufacturing Mecca of America. We have more uh, manufacturing jobs per capita in Northeast Indiana than anywhere in the United States of America. So we want our innovators who have joined us from faraway places like Silicon Valley to come and see the very best of what America has to offer. We want to make what you're uh, inventing uh, in this part of the country. And we're going to talk a lot today about innovation, about the significant defense footprint that we have right here at home, and uh, it, is the, it is a pleasure to have so many of you come from far away uh, to be with us today. Uh, I also want to ask all of you to join me in thanking Purdue Fort Wayne for hosting us today. What a, a great venue you have provided. Uh, we're going to hear from the new president of Purdue University, but please take a minute to thank Purdue Fort Wayne for having us today. We appreciate it very much. I also have the best team in the business, uh, everyone who works on my staff, both in Washington, D.C., and here in Northeast Indiana, uh, put this event together. They make me look good every day, and uh, most of them are around the room, but if you're a part of the Banks team, please stand. I want to thank you from the stage and ask all of you to join me in thanking them because they're the ones who did the hard work in putting today together as well. If you need anything at all, see one of them. Later today, we're going to hear from the Secretary of the Air Force, Frank Kendall. We're going to hear from my colleague, Congressman Mike Gallagher from Wisconsin, Chairman of the Select Committee on the Chinese Communist Party that I'm a part of. We're going to hear from significant, uh, other significant figures in the national defense industry, and I'm, I'm really excited about today. But first, we're going to hear from someone who I have tremendous respect for, uh, Dr. Meng Chang became president of Purdue University just this January, and at 40 years old, is the youngest president of a major university in the United States of America. Dr. Chang was born in China. He immigrated to Hong Kong before moving to the United States to, Purdue, to pursue a PhD in electrical engineering from Stanford. Dr. Chang was an engineering professor at Princeton before he became the dean of Purdue's College of Engineering in 2017. In 2019, he took a one-year leave of absence to serve as science and technology advisor to former Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. During the Trump administration, he focused on reducing reliance on Chinese imports of key technology like semiconductors. In June, Purdue University opened a first-of-its-kind $41 million hypersonic applied research facility for hypersonics evaluation and testing. Yet another example of how universities in the region lead the way in our nation's cutting-edge defense research. Please join me in welcoming a great friend, someone who Indiana is very honored to have lead our significant Purdue University, uh, and we're so glad to be on his home turf today here at Purdue Fort Wayne. Dr. Chang, thank you for being with us today. Please kick us off. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Purdue Fort Wayne. And thank you, Congressman Banks, for your leadership 
representing our beautiful state of Indiana, and congratulations on the second annual National Defense Summit right here in Fort Wayne. And thank you for your service to the United States Navy. When I had the honor to serve my country uh, in the State Department, uh, working with uh, Secretary Pompeo, every time I get the chance to meet with DOD colleagues, always say thank you for your service. Without your service and sacrifice, we wouldn't be able to live here at home in peace, prosperity, and freedom. And your public university, Purdue, has the North Star of freedom and a core mission, in addition to basketball and football, that is, a core mission to support our war fighters and to maximize America's capabilities in national security and defense. It's a great honor to be here this morning to see all of you. And channeling my old days, when I was actually an engineer, uh, working with DARPA on a lot of projects, the core chart. Part of the core chart is research. And Purdue, under my predecessor, Mitch Daniels' leadership, one of the many amazing things out of the Daniels decade was to support national security research, including energetics, secure microelectronics, cybersecurity, and yes, hypersonics. As Congressman just alluded to earlier this month, we unveiled Purdue's own investment in the hypersonic facility, including building our nation's first Mach 8 quiet wind tunnel coming up. And we believe that uh, Purdue is now the epicenter of American hypersonic testing and research. Very proud of the great work done by our faculty and staff and students and partners. Second part of the quad chart is education and workforce development, including running DOD's secure microelectronic workforce national consortium scale along with 17 other universities in America, including one of the largest ROTC programs in the country. And just last month, we had former Secretary Esper commissioning uh, the latest round of ROTC colleagues, and including Purdue Military Research Institute that provides a pathway for graduate degrees of men and women in uniform today, and also Purdue Military Family Research Institute that takes care of the veterans and the families along with whom our men and women in uniform serve the country. The third part of the quadrant, by the way, you must be happy, it's only a quadrant. I got 85 PowerPoint slides originally. But the congressman told me to, uh, to keep it brief. Uh, the third part of the quadrant is, of course, our partnership. We couldn't do this alone as one university. We deeply appreciate the partnership, for example, with Crane. We are so proud to have Navy Crane in our state of Indiana. We appreciate the partnership with Air Force Research Lab. And indeed, we just opened the Midwest hub for Air Force Research Lab's Innovation Network. And we appreciate Space Force, for example, one of the premier academic partnership with uh, Space Force in education and research. And indeed, flying is in the DNA of Boilermakers, including New Armstrong. And a partnership with companies large and small. Northrop Grumman has a tunnel in our building, and a Boeing, working with Saab, has a facility building fuselage, and we've got Rolls-Royce hypersonic testing facility, Raytheon, Lockheed, the list goes on. Of course, Strato Launch is now at Purdue as well, and just yesterday, Wall Street Journal reported Adreno is now acquired by Enduro. And finally, it's the quadrant of investing in our people. We now have PERI, Purdue Applied Research Institute, that would take care of flexible contracting, clearable talents, and facility with security. And now we have an amazing leader, in addition to my colleagues such as Colonel Pittman, who just recruited the CEO of PERI, Dr. Mark Lewis. Where's Mark? Please stand. Mark Lewis, formerly in DOD, some of you know him very well. He and I worked together in 2020 on many projects. Great to have you on board, Mark. Well, 
Your University of Purdue believes that a stronger America means security at home and freedom and peace around the world. We are proud to serve our country, and you can rest assured the reaffirmed commitment of Purdue University to national defense and security. So boiler up to America. Thank you very much.